Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and today is going to be the last unboxing of the year. Yes, today is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow will be New Year's Day, so I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. Hope everyone has a nice, safe uh, holiday. And uh, yeah, so let's get to what this video is about. So as you see here, I have a fairly large box in front of me. Not too big, not too small, eh, somewhere in between. And this is something that my 12-year-old daughter wanted me to get for her for Christmas, which didn't show up until later. Uh, so finally it came yesterday and I did an unboxing of it yesterday just to make sure everything that's supposed to be in the box is in the box. Now, this is something to create music with. And for me... This is going to be something to create a backing track with. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. And it's uh, basically a lot of uh, different stuff. So my 12-year-old daughter wanted me to pick this up. Yes, I said number 12. And that is the winning number of the 2019 Christmas giveaway. So let me move this box out of the way and get to what's in the box so I can show you guys. And maybe you guys could benefit a little bit from this too as far as... Uh, making your own backing tracks instead of doing what you guys have been doing as far as finding stuff online or uh, different types of programs that are limited to what you can do with them. So let me All get right, rid so of now that box. big box is out of the way. Um, I'm left here with three other boxes and a bag. Well, the bag is separate, so it's something I ordered uh, a long time ago. that finally showed up today. Anyways, uh, Happy New Year to everybody again, and I hope you guys have a safe one and a great one for this next coming up year. Uh, I promise that I will try not to tarry it at all this year and uh, hopefully come up with some good stuff. So what came in that big box? Well, I ordered something that I found uh, pretty interesting. My daughter found it on uh, YouTube, and it was something that uh, kind of like, like, I guess, caught my eye as well. And... There are different places where you can get this from. You can actually get this at Walmart, but you have to order it online. You do, they do not carry it in a store. And it, this thing ranges anywhere between like $100 to like two, dollars $300, depending on what comes with your kit and uh, uh, what you're looking for. So all in all, basically what was in this box, all right, it comes with a 3.0 four port usb hub okay this might be needed for what i needed for um not sure yet but it came with the kit also came with a pair of uh test cam th-03 studio headphones now this cost me all together what everything it was like 140 dollars on ebay um, it, the kit comes with these headphones. It comes with this USB port. Sometimes you can get the headphones, a microphone, um, depending on, you know, what configuration or what you need or, or whatever you're working with. Now, the fun part of this is in this box right here, which I thought was pretty cool when I saw it online, uh, saw it on the YouTube videos and stuff, but it was used for a different type of music. People more like um, teenagers or so were using it to make electronic, uh, like dance music or mixes and stuff, which this thing here can do a lot for what it is. All right, Let so I don't know if you out. guys ever heard of this or seen this. I know there are different versions of uh, uh, MIDI devices that are out there. This is called a Launchpad Mini, all right? And as you can see, it's it's pretty much like you know some of the launch pads that you would see for doing MIDI control for drum kits or, or whatnot this thing does everything you have everything from uh, keyboards piano basses drums um, music that's already made that you can combine with other music uh, or other instruments to make your own music as well you can make your own drum riffs with this you can make your own piano you know bass lines whatever mix it all up into one big song the nice thing about this is is you cannot screw up now you could probably screw up as far as how you're playing and and, and what you're playing um as far as notes go but 
keeping rhythm and keeping in time this thing will like do that for you to where you can't screw up with your timing as far as making some type of music with this as far as playing guitar with it while well, your timing it depends on how well you can keep up with this now this has a program which is called Able Appleton Appleton live all right which is a free program you do have to register it there is a key on the paperwork that comes with this that you have to use uh basically for your computer or whatever your type of uh, uh pc or apple product you're going to use now this is very small i mean this is not anything big i mean this is it this is this is all it is now every button over here has its own function and depending on the program and how you're using the program you can basically set up each one of these buttons to do a different job say if you want to have just basically drums using the appleton program you could sit there and set up a whole drum kit in a certain corner or any place else that you want on this pad set up uh, bass guitar set up keyboard set up whatever or an orchestra on here and it's fairly small it comes with a nice rubber pad on the bottom so it has a good grip on anything that you put it on a surface and it's just it's weird and the harder you hit these buttons the more pronounced that sound is going to be so if you lightly hit it it's not going to be um like as pronounced or as loud or or, or ring out the way it should is to say if you hit it harder this is made to take a beating and uh yeah this does get a beating when it's in use from a lot of the youtube videos that i've seen um does come with a usb does come with the paperwork for it appleton is a pretty uh sophisticated program it, it's also recording software as well uh, off to one side there will be off to the left side there will be a whole list of different types of music that you can add to your launch pad and basically set up uh any color you want as far as uh how you want the launch pad to look as you're pushing a button and what that button can do so it's pretty cool and i'm kind of like hoping that i can use this myself as far as using it as a um to make some type of music with it and uh yeah so that's one thing that's pretty cool and again you know this is pretty small it's not very large at all Second thing that I ended up picking up was uh, something that I said I was going to pick up in my last video uh, for the Christmas giveaway, which was basically some, if you said erasers, fret erasers, you're right. So I picked up a set of fret erasers for myself. So hopefully I can get this launch pad to work perfectly the way I want it to work and be able to do um, lots of things with it. So you guys take care, have a good one, and have a great New Year's. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit of a review on these Tascam TH-03 uh, headphones. Um, they're supposed to be like a studio quality headphones. Uh, I'll be the judge of that as far as listening to them and seeing what uh, frequencies and how much it actually can produce as far as i have no place to put it uh as far as what they sound like highs lows and mids so you guys take it easy again and i will catch up with you later